Many patients find great comfort in speaking with others who have first-hand experience with GIST. There has been a significant rise in the presence of GIST patient advocacy organizations over the last 10 years, giving patients greater access to support networks and information. With the advent of the internet, we're seeing the, the evolution of, of the expert patient. And uh, more and more, they, they trade stories. And uh, one of the first things is, where do you, uh, where do you go? How do you, how do you get treatment? For an advocacy organization, we provide information and education to patients, uh, not just in the U.S., but in, uh, in over 50 countries. I actively participate in GIST awareness since my own diagnosis in 2004 because at that time there was absolutely no information neither about the disease nor about the treatment. And I remember several weeks after my own diagnosis I went to the National Cancer League to try and get some information about my cancer. And the only definition I was given was that GIST was an orphan cancer. And you can imagine it was a terrible and a painful moment because uh, at this uh, moment you think that no one has never heard about your disease. So this is why I decided to create this organization and to involve myself in GIST awareness. A strong support network of family and friends can help GIST patients come to terms with their disease and cope with the emotional and physical realities of living with GIST. My life really revolves around my children and my grandchildren, of course my husband. And uh, my husband and I have done so many things since being diagnosed. I mean, I've got my, uh, my bucket list going there and uh, you know, we've been to Mexico and cruises to Alaska. Um, just a number of things that I think I wouldn't have uh, found such an urgency to, to do. Can joining a support group make a difference in how a patient manages his or her GIST diagnosis, treatment, and long-term care? A, yes. B, no. 